Well, hello friends, Scott from Plot River Keto. If you're new to my channel, welcome. On my channel, you get to come along for the ride on my keto journey. I check in with you once a week to update you on my progress, and I try to check in with you one other time during the week, uh, usually to share something that I've discovered about the ketogenic lifestyle, but occasionally just to share a little something that I've discovered about this little journey that we call life. Today is Saturday, which means that it's a check-in day. Um, I know I've said this a couple times already, but I just want to say thank you again to all those who have reached out and been supportive as I, things have been a little rough for me the last few weeks. And particularly my video last Saturday, I was really down, not wanting to record it. I'm glad that I did because I wanted to share with you guys my whole journey. And being down like I was last Saturday, uh, definitely part of my journey. So thank you for being a part of that. And thank you for your uh, love, your support, and just reaching out and being kind to me, giving me some grace. Also, I really appreciate that. So it's been a good week. I feel like I finally turned a corner. You know, the month of February was bleh. I was very happy to see the calendar turn over to March. Um, things are going pretty good. Uh, still very busy with work. I uh, just got home from work. It's the middle of the day here on Saturday as I share this with you. But uh, it's, work is going well. Very busy, but doing better. Uh, still having troubles with the car. I, I didn't actually didn't specifically mention that last week, but towed had my car towed for the fourth time in the last well since uh, since Christmas. It's at the shop again, but uh, I guess God is trying to teach me to be patient, and uh, I'd love to just say that I've learned that lesson. I probably haven't. I don't want to learn it anymore. But uh, I'm still in the process of learning that. So still having car trouble, but uh, trying to look on the bright side with that. Once again, really grateful to my parents for the ability to borrow a car. And it'll get fixed eventually, and it'll be okay. So, yeah. But anyway, week weekly check-in time. I wanted to check in with you guys on my goals. Uh, as you know, last week was not good at all. Really didn't meet any of my goals. And uh, hoping for a better week this week. And things are starting to trend in the right direction. Uh, first goal was to have a DDP workout, DDPY workout every day, and I totally did that this week. It was nice to kind of get back into the swing of things, uh, getting workouts in. Uh, we'll also kind of skip down here and just relate to the other uh, goal, which was to walk 12 and a half miles per week. I'm going to up that, guys. I'm basically going to double that and go 25 miles a week, which would be basically five miles a day for five out of the seven days of the week. Uh, I pretty much met that this week because I started walking again. Uh, the weather's been a little bit nicer. Unfortunately, uh, as is the case when you live in Nebraska, we are still not really in spring yet. Uh, you know, spring, of course, is technically third week of March, but um, we usually aren't out of the possibility of cold and snow till usually the mid middle to end of April. And it does look like next week, um, meaning like Wednesday, Thursday upcoming, there's a pretty good chance of some pretty significant snow here again. But I will enjoy the great outdoors while I can. I had a nice walk with my dogs this morning after I finished my yoga workout. It was nice. It was a little bit breezy, but with the ground finally not snow covered and ice covered, I, I feel comfortable walking outside. Uh, last night, I even tried to do a little bit of a walk jog. I walked uh, and, and jogged just little distances. I kind of told myself as I was walking, there was like, okay, so I, as I'm crossing this particular street, I'll just jog that little part between the two streets and uh, did that a few times and that was kind of fun. I mentioned this on my Facebook page, but I am kind of working on improving my pace. Uh, I have a, a fitness watch, and so I've, I've worked on, I can see what my walking pace obviously is, and I've worked on improving that, and I actually got it under 15 minutes per mile for the first time uh, yesterday evening. I was at 1440 per mile, uh, which is a pretty fast walk. Like I said, there was a little bit of jogging in there. And I uh, did that for about three miles. So anyway, feeling good about that. Like I said, I think that's probably going to be my adjustment. As a matter of fact, I'm going to write it down. Uh, we're going to go with 25 miles per week instead of the 12 and a half. Like I had mentioned, I think back pretty much the week after I created that goal for the first quarter, it seemed low because I do try to walk around even when I'm busy in tax season. I try to get up every couple of hours and just go walk around the block. It helps with my... Mental sanity gives me a little brain break at work and uh, obviously get, gets a little bit of fresh air. So between that and actually, you know, walking with my dogs or even if the weather gets terrible again this next week, uh, walking on the treadmill uh, and or the elliptical machine, I feel like I'll be able to get those uh, steps in. So adjusted that goal. Hooray for that. 
Um, DDPY, like I said, is going great. I'm in the advanced program. Kicking my butt a little bit, but that's a good thing. Um, I feel like I'm building some strength, and yeah, so progress there. Uh, next goal was to lose 25 pounds or be at 275 by March 31st. Obviously, guys, as you know, I had gained 9 pounds last week. I was at 303.2, and so getting to 275 by the end of March, that would mean I would lose 25 pounds. 28 pounds in a month that's not gonna happen and we know that's not gonna happen so I've been thinking about that and I've decided that the goal I would like to make uh, by the end of March is to get to 290 uh, which would be 13.6 pounds uh, from where I was last week 13.2 um, pounds from where I was last week and I think that's probably a bit of a stretch still but I wanted to give myself a stretch goal as far as my relationship with Earth's gravity. I um, do want to check in with you today. Uh, finally stemmed the tide, stopped the bleeding, whatever you want to call it, uh, of the weight gain. And I was at 302.6. So down six tenths of a pound this week. And yeah, I, I'm happy with that. As you know, the beginning of this week, which I kind of basically go from when I talk to you guys on Saturday to the following Saturday. Last Saturday was brutally rough. Um... By Sunday, my perspective was getting a little better. That's why I wanted to, wanted to and did check in with you guys last Sunday to let you know that things were getting a little better. And I've had a good week, but obviously between the stress that I still have quite a bit of and um, the very beginning of the week where things were still not very good, not surprised not to have a big weight loss, but glad that I've been able to kind of level that out and I think I'm going to start heading in the right direction again, which is good. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention as it related to my relationships with, with Earth's gravity is I know that for a couple of weeks there, I was pretty aware that with the stress and things that were going on in my life that I had gained weight. I had mentioned that to you guys. I had mentioned that I was not getting on the scale because I was not anxious to have the extra depressing news of where my weight had gotten. And one of the reasons was is that I had just gotten under 300 pounds, and that was a big thing for me uh, to be in the twos and to not ever want to go back to the threes. And so... Having not, I was not surprised at what my, what my weight was last week. And I think you guys may have gotten the impression that that was really a big part of my being so down last week. It was not. Uh, and I tried to indicate that again in my video on Sunday, but it was just not a big deal. I wanted to share it with you because I had decided that I needed to kind of um, keep accountable to where I was actually at and, you know, being accountable, figuring out where you are is how you can move forward. But it was not a big thing. I knew I was going to be up. I was not surprised. I was back over 300. I did think, though, in a part of my brain that I was going to, that was really going to bother me because it's a big deal to me to get into the twos. And obviously, my final goal is to get into the ones. 199 is the goal that I currently have for myself. So I thought that that might be a really big deal, a really big downer to me to be back over 300. Um, I was at 303 last week, 302 this week. I am not, because what keeps me from, I think, getting super down about that, obviously when I'm having a lot of stress, and like last Saturday, I really was kind of bummed, but what keeps me from kind of staying in a down state when I'm above the 300 plateau, which is where I am again, is that this is a process for me, and that this is a lifestyle for me, um, and that has been different than any other time that I've tried to lose weight. Um, and tried to get healthy is that I, this is just this is who I am this is what I do and it, there's no end date to it so I know I'm going to get back under 300 it's probably going to happen this week and that's it is what it is and I'm happy with that and I, and I know I'm trusting the process that's the other thing is that although I didn't have a lot of weight loss this week even though I felt like I had a really good week uh, I can acknowledge that the beginning of this week was maybe not so great um, but the other thing is I still have a lot of stress I do uh, although I feel like I'm sleeping better than I had been, I can still use some improvement there, and I can still make some improvements on uh, tightening up my my eating. I did that this week, and I would say by the middle of this week, I finally quit having all the extra keto snacks and things. I got some things out of my house. I had some sugar-free soda that is gone, and I am not going to be rebuying that, and uh, some nuts also that just have got to go. I they're they're go gone. They're basically gone now. And uh, not planning on buying more of those. Those are kind of my go-to snacks when I'm feeling down. And I really would like to change that 
and I know that over time I will find something better, more constructive to do when I'm feeling down. Having said that, I'm not there yet. Um, still very much human, as you guys all know, and so I am accepting that, moving forward with it. I think that I will hopefully have some good progress this week, but regardless of what the relationship with Earth's gravity says, I am definitely trusting the process, so happy with that. Um, I Like I said, I already skipped ahead, so I already talked about the walking thing. We've changed that from 12 and a half to 25 miles, and I think that's very doable for me, 25 miles a week. Um, and then finally, studying my doing my Bible study this week, the Follow Him podcast. I did that this week. I uh, have been doing that, obviously, even in my most down times, and it's been very good for me. I really enjoyed the study this week. There were a couple of things that really hit home for me that were really helpful to me. Um, so yeah, just thankful for that. Um, I think that's about it for my check-in this week. The only other thing that I wanted to mention to you guys today was that I will be on a live with Alan's Awesome Keto World tonight at 6 p.m. Central Time. It'll be on his channel. I have posted a link on my Facebook page, actually on my YouTube channel as well, so you should be able to easily get to that. We'll see how that goes. I'm looking forward to the opportunity to chat with Alan. He's been keto a lot longer than I have. But I'm looking forward to talking with him, answering your questions uh, about all things keto and other things. I know Alan has joked about getting tax advice from me as I'm a tax accountant. But uh, hopefully that'll be fun. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. That's something I'm looking forward to doing. But uh, otherwise, keep calm and keto on. And we'll talk to you again soon.